so today i am going to start with the complex analysis analytic in that i am going to teach all what is the analytic function and cauchy riemann equation okay analytic function i will be giving you all the definition of it okay now let us see complex analysis okay now let us see what is analytic function okay a complex valued function w is equal to f of z is said to be analytic at point z is equal to z not if it satisfies this condition okay the given condition this is the condition for analytic and condition for analytic okay now this is the condition for the analytic okay so a complex valued function w is equal to f of z is said to be analytic at point z is equal to z not if it satisfies this condition okay so let me okay and it should exist okay it should exist and it should be unique at z not okay it should exist and unique at z not so now analytic function the continuation of it i hope you all can see this clearly over here okay so analytic function is also called as regular function or holomorphic function holomorphic it is okay let me rub this holomorphic holomorphic function okay let me write it down over here okay this add your holo morphic function okay h o l o m o r p h i c okay this is h o l o m o r p h i c okay homo holomorphic function it is okay so analytic function is also called as regular function or holomorphic function okay next let us see okay first i am going to teach all about the uh, z plane first i am going to show you all the z plane over here now this is a z plane okay this is x axis okay and this is y axis okay this is y axis this is x axis x is considered here this part is what real and this is the imaginary okay now here i have taken my the, uh, two to be x and uh, this to be y okay so have you come across z is equal to x plus y i y okay so what i have done over here is z is equal to z is equal to what is the value of x over here 2 okay plus i write it has it is y is nothing but 3 okay so it should be in this form so this is a z plane okay so next we call this as a z plane and next let us see to the other one moving towards the f of z plane okay this this is w plane even you can call it as f of z plane okay function of z plane okay so now this is again this will be your u and this will be your v right u v plane so Uh, meaning u and v so f of z is equal to w now what is w over here w is equal to u of x comma y plus i v of x comma y okay now this you'll have to remember next what you'll have to remember is uh next let me give you all about the cauchy riemann equation that is w is equal to u plus i v okay so the condition is what this is the given this thing okay function like u w is equal to u plus iv this is the cauchy riemann equation 
then with uh, differentiating with respect to x you will get dou u by dou x is equal to dou v by dou y okay this is the condition okay next is what dou u by dou y is equal to minus dou v by dou x these are the condition to check the given function is analytic or not okay so for example i have taken here uh, this is the example of it wait huh? this is an example okay this is an example so i have taken f of z is equal to z square okay f of z is equal to now what is z in the bracket this is the rough bracket okay rough bracket it is roughly rough part it is so z is equal to x plus i y is given and the value of i square is nothing but my minus one right so what is z in place of the x plus i y and then square is this put a square term okay is equal to use that a plus b the whole square formula use this formula a a plus b the whole square formula that is uh, a square plus 2 a b plus b the whole square okay you'll have to apply this rule over here okay i will be applying that rule over here okay so what I am going to get is x square okay plus 2ixy plus i square y square okay. So next let us see let me uh, wipe this. So, f of z is equal to what is remaining over here x square and minus y square because the value of i square is what i square is nothing but minus 1 right. So, what I will get is from your x square minus y square okay from this term. So, So x square minus y square I have written it down plus 2yxy okay this you are right it has it is. Now tell me what is your u and uh, what is this okay. So u is equal to what x square minus y square v is nothing but z sorry 2xy okay so v is nothing but 2xy right. So write it down this is your 2 okay 2xy it is. So now what you all have to do over here is differentiate this term with respect to x you are going to get 2x right. Differentiate this with respect to y I am going to get minus 2y. Differentiate this with respect to a, a y you will get 2x. Differentiate with respect to y you will get uh, sorry differentiate with respect to y to x differentiate with respect to x over here you will get 2y okay now basically these are equal right so in this we should check if the function is analytic or no right in this example we need to check if the function is analytic or not so the function is therefore the function is analytic in this right so it is satisfying the condition so it is analytic both are equal okay so it is satisfying the given condition so next let us see so this is the what you all are what you all get it satisfies this condition okay next let me turn the page okay so next question is about uh, this is one more uh, question in the, in this we will check if the given function is analytic or not okay so this is given like f of z is equal to e raised to power of minus x cos y plus i sin y is analytic or not that we have to check. So now f of f z f of z is equal to write the function multiply this term with this 
cos of y and then again with this okay so e raised to power of minus x into cos of y write it over here okay i hope you all can see this clearly okay so e raised to power of minus x cos of y then plus okay then e raised to power of minus x i sin of y okay i e raised to power minus x sin of y okay once you all write down this part you all have u is equal to e raised to power of minus x cos y v is equal to e raised to power of minus x sin of y okay now differentiate this part with respect to x and see what you all are going to get that is minus e raised to power of minus x because this is with respect to x cos of y write it as it is now differentiate v term with respect to y e raised to power of minus x cos of y it will be right what is the derivative of sin of y the derivative of sin of y is nothing but cos of y okay then here we are not changing because it is with respect to x over here okay now it is with respect to now it will be with respect to what y right so dou u by upon dou uh, dou y is equal to minus e raised to power of minus x what is sin uh, what is cos of y now we are supposed sorry we are supposed to differentiate this with respect to uh, y right so cos of y what is the derivative of cos of y minus sin of y minus sin of y e raised to power of minus x write it as it is cos of y will become minus sin of y okay now what is the derivative of uh, okay now this is with respect to x so we will get minus e raised to power minus x sin of y okay and so this thing we are getting a same right but these are not equal right so let us see by cr equation dou u by dou x see what is that dou u by dou x is not equal to dou v by dou y okay so are they equal no right both should be equal right here minus is there here positive is there now in this case what happens over here here both are equal but for cr equa uh, for the given function to be analytic what should happen for a given function to be analytic both this both should be equal. both should be equal here both are not equal right here both are not equal only one is not equal both should be equal okay so therefore the given function is not analytic therefore you all have to write this part okay therefore the given function is not analytic okay so once you all are done with this i have one more question to give you all okay now let me give you all this i hope this is clear to you all okay write this question f of z is equal to sin z is equal to what what is sin write it as it is z is what x plus i y which i have given you all okay now f of z is equal to what sin of x now this the, that rule formulas you'll have to remember okay sin of x cos of i y plus cos of x sin of i y okay next is what f z is equal to f z is equal to sin of x cos of now what is this i y this part let me explain you all okay now cos of cos of i y is nothing but cos of h y okay and sin of i y is equal to sin of y okay so this you all should know let me rub this okay hyperbolic it is so fz is equal to sin cos hyperbolic y plus i cos x sin hyperbolic y okay in place of sin it will be sin hyperbolic y okay So this you have taken to be from where sine of x cos of 
cos hyperbolic y okay then what is v cos x sin of sin hyperbolic y okay now differentiate this part with respect to x now right this u part differentiate it with respect to x and see what all are going to get sin x differentiate with respect to x i will get cos of x derivative of sin x is nothing but cos of x cos hyperbolic y write it as it is okay because we are differentiating this with respect to x next let us see now differentiate this with respect to y cos x will be as it is sin hyperbolic y will be cos hyperbolic y okay because i'm differentiating with respect to y so only y term will change okay next let us see now differentiate this u with respect to y and c sin x will be as it is cos hyperbolic y will change into sin hyperbolic y okay remember this okay next will be what this derivative differentiate it with respect to x and see what you are going to get so cos hyperbolic will be what cos of x will be i'm differentiating with respect to x so it will be minus sin of x right and then it cos hyperbolic y will be sin hyperbolic y okay now this is what by cr dou u by dou x okay so here it was what it should be minus right over here this y'all okay next because sin uh, wait cos we are changing right over here cos it will be minus sin so derivative of this will be minus sin of hyperbolic y okay so next is what by cr dou u by dou x is equal to dou u by dou y and by this is what cauchy riemann by cauchy riemann these are the condition which satisfies right this term is equal to this term this term again is equal to this term sin x sin of sin hyperbolic y because we have to keep this as it is sin hyperbolic y because we are differentiating it with respect to uh, x right so cos of x will become minus sin of x so i hope you all have understood this concept today's next let us see f dash of z is equal to what dou u by dou x plus i dou v by dou x now in this what we have to do is fz is equal to u plus v f dash is equal to it's like this differentiate with respect to x differentiate with respect to x so now dou u by dou x is what now dou u by dou x is cos of x cos hyperbolic y cos x cos hyperbolic y then put plug the minus over here minus sign so minus sign x sin hyperbolic y plug that value over here then cos x f dash of z is equal to what cos x cos i y because this i have already given it to you all right what was that cos i y is nothing but cos hyperbolic y and sin i y is equal to sin hyperbolic y right so this is what you all have to remember okay so cos x cos it hyperbolic y is what cos of i y minus sin x sin hyperbolic y is what sin i y okay plug this value then cos of what it will be cos of x plus i y right this in this form okay you all have to know the formulas properly then is equal to cos of z x plus i y is nothing but z so f dash of z is equal to cos z so with this i am done with today's lecture i hope you all have understood if you all have any difficulties any queries you all can comment below okay and thanks for watching